here post fight at BKB 29 with Luke Smith. Luke, on your debut, a knockout win. What more could you ask for? I couldn't ask for nothing more. First of all, I'd like to thank my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Then I'd like to thank all my fans for coming. Um, Warsaw, Wolverhampton, Darlington, Birmingham. I'd like to thank my coaches, Michael Kennelly um, and Con. I've been with Con for numerous years now. I've been with Mike and me and Mike are going to be together for a very long amount of the years now. Um, I'd like to thank my team, Chaz, Kane, all the lads that helped run the business and everyone who's just been alongside the journey, Williams Nutrition, everything like that. Um, obviously, I've come out for the fight now. It's all frills and knickers, it don't mean nothing. If it could be in my fucking back garden, it's still going to be the same result. All this is just the money spam, you know what I mean? Um, I'd like to thank the Canelli Gym. The Canelli Gym's the place to be. Since I've been in there, it's felt like home. It's the best establishment. They've got great ethos, and you're more than welcome there. So obviously, I'm in the greatest place. I'm under the greatest hands. Con's been with me for two years, conditioning me. I don't even get out second gear there, mate. I'm telling you, I was just warming up, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? I was only warming up. Do you know what I'm saying? Con's conditioned me over two years. You know what I mean? I'm taking left hooks on the button, bro, and I'm coming forward, mate. Do you know what I mean? I've got hands like fucking lead. You don't want these. And I could have you talking here all day, bro, because I'm gassed at the minute. Do you know what I'm saying? I'd like to thank everyone who's following, everyone who's watched. Um, look out for the name, Scrap King Smudge. I'm going to be in the game fucking a few years, and we'll be up on the big stage. The big, big stage. Let's talk about the fight quickly. The fight. It was a, a patient start to the first round. patient. I don't even rush in, obviously, I've got, I've got a temper, you know what I mean, and, and I can explode. Um, but I've listened to my coach, give nothing, take everything. I don't get it very often. I stalked, I had my patience, I kept my ring dominance, I kept centre of the ring, um, and I just stayed composed, because obviously, when you start getting erratic, you get tunnel vision. I'm composed under chaos, do you know what I mean? I've been in the army, so I can stay composed under chaos. Gareth Hutch had a had a had a, had a good listen, start to the second listen, round. I got, he's got fucking. I got. He's got good art. He's had a good start to the second round. He's had his head boxed off the first round. So his coach has obviously told him, "Come out. You've got to come out. Slap it on him." He's come out, slapped it on me. But look, as you're sitting in the fight, I'll plant my feet, and you don't want to trade with me because I've got lead in my hands. Do you know what I mean? They don't call me Scrap King for nothing. Like steel and fucking lead, mate. But anyway, sorry for that. How did you keep your composure at the start of that second round when he's throwing this torrent of punches at you? Mate, I've been doing this stuff since I was a sconner on the cobbles, do you know what I mean? I've been fighting. I grew up in Coalpool in Warsaw, mate. It's rough as shit, you know what I mean? I've been having my fucking lips punched off since I was a sconner. So, you know what I mean? It ain't nothing. Like I say to you, all this, it's all frills and knickers. It could be as well be on the fucking car park, still going to be same result. It's one man versus me, and listen to this, I ain't never going to lose my name, do you understand? So that's what's going to happen. And I'm only learning, I'm only just warmed in, do you know what I mean? Obviously I've been at the ring, I was waiting for him to get pro gloved. I've been at the ring for quite a while, obviously I've had enough sparring, and I've come straight in. I've never felt more at home. Like I say, with the bare knuckle, I love it like, do you know what I mean? I, I knew it would be suited for me, and it was. Praise the Lord. Some great boxing showcase there, great head movement and staying calm under pressure. I seen, I seen, listen, like, it, was like, it was like everything was slow motion, bruv. I seen that jab coming, I could have had a fucking cup of tea and a couple of fags. By the time the jabs come, I was there, boom, boom, have that. Do you know what I'm saying? I could see it coming, I could see with his feet. I don't just look at the eyes, I don't look at the hands. I could see him edging forward, I knew the cunt was loading up. As soon as that jab come, boom, boom, boom. Obviously, I wanted to be a bit cleaner. He threw a shot, I was on safe ball. I slipped in, I went upstairs. I cracked him in the eye socket, probably cracked his eye socket. I felt something crack on my me, on me knuckles there, do you know what I mean? So, that's probably what happened from there. Let's talk about that knockout punch, hit him in the eye, the, his corner threw the towel in. You know, what was going through your head at that point? Nah, because obviously, obviously, brother, yeah. I just had my patience, Mike, Mike. I've been with that man there for 12 weeks now at the Canelli gym. Big shout out to James as well. Look what I've been doing. I've been, I've been in with veterans. He's a veteran coach in the game. Obviously, he's kept my mind composed because my worst problem, sometimes I can lose my head. As you've seen in the second round, boom, I started to fucking, straight away, my, my boxing started. I thought he wanted to come and slap it on me. So I planted my feet. I let my hands go. Do you know what I mean? And then that's what happened.
I guess everything went according to plan then for you? Everything went according to plan. Like I say, I've listened to my coach, Con. He's been building a German whip engine on me for two years. Better than fucking D BMW, Audi and fucking Volkswagen, mate. I don't <laughs> bend off old, do you know what I mean? These fucking Chinese ones blow up after two minutes. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chinese cars. But yeah, um, and then, like I say, Mike, he's calmed me down, he's kept me composed. I've listened to the man. He's like my fucking dad, but in the boxing world. Put it that way. So, I ain't never gonna lose a name, and I ain't never gonna let Canelli Jim down. And you're gonna see a lot more of me, praise the Lord. Well, congratulations. Thank you, God bless you. See you. Thank you.